Hey and welcome. With uh, nudging from my guides, I'm changing things up a little by adding a weekly oracle reading. I'd actually gotten a message either from my higher self or my guides upon waking the morning of August 4th. I was told emphatically, do it, do it now or get left behind. Me being me, had to think about it before taking action. I've acquired a piece of new equipment that I'm trying out today. I'm really hoping it works out well and I'm happy with it. We will see. I also want to give T from The Unlikely Chandler a big thank you. Her weekend oracle message gave me the incentive and courage I needed to take a deep breath and try again, keeping my reading simple. I tend to get in my own way. I think a lot of people do that. Anyway, today I'm using the Four Agreements cards with Fairy Tarot. Let's see what the universe and guides want the collective to be aware of this week. Go ahead and move these out of the way. Okay. Go ahead and shuffle the Four Agreements cards. Okay. I'll go ahead and keep it right there. It's don't make assumptions, say goodbye to sadness and drama. All the sadness and drama you have lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and taking things personally. The whole world of control between humans is based on Based on that, take a moment and consider this. Whoops, sorry. I hit the arm of the stand. It'll stop in a second. Okay. All right, go ahead and move on to Fairy Tarot. What situation or attitude should we, should we be aware of this week? We had a jumper and another, but I'm putting those back in. Okay, our card is Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. I'm thinking I don't like that light very much. Alrighty. Um, so I'll try something different next time. So, okay. What is the best way to shift our energy? to a higher vibration. I'm shuffling the cards. And our card is King of Winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. Okay. 
Okay. And what are we overlooking or need to know to bring a positive resolution? What piece of information do we need to know to make this more clear? Okay, I don't have quite enough room for you to see everything. And for that, I apologize. It's a work in progress. So please bear with me. Okay. Prince of, Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Happy news about your career, promotion, or scholarship. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Okay. I'm, uh, Trying to decide. I think I'm just going to stop at the three cards. Um, if you've noticed, I've not given much insight because the card meanings are different for each of us. I could go ahead and and read them financially, but you are focused on a relationship or a love interest or world events or something else so um, the meanings are different from for each of us take what resonates and apply it accordingly to your discernment thank you for being with me today i'm holding space and sending love take care of you and have a great day <laughs>